On March 23, 2023, a developer by the name of Alan began working on a Rake fan game in collaboration with Zavalid, a fellow developer who he had worked on Rake ZRK with, and who was known for games like Endless Doors and Bully Mr. Rake. The game, known as the Rake Whispering Pines, gained a reputation as one of the scariest and most well-made Rake fan games on Roblox, with some considering it higher than the Rake remastered in terms of quality. It remained small for a while, with a tight-knit and passionate fanbase, but in June 2024 this all changed. It started when Alan released update version 2.8 which added Blood Hour, and a later update adding Survival Streaks. The game suddenly grew in popularity, breaking player count records, and quickly became the most played Rake fan game on the platform, with player counts rivaling remasters. Alan and Zav were teasing multiple new updates, and it was beginning to look like Whispering Pines could surpass Rake Remastered to become the most popular Rake game on Roblox. However, on June 29, 2024, at the height of its popularity, the game got a DMCA strike and was content deleted. Alan posted this notice on the Discord server. Hey, so as you may notice, Whispering Pines at the moment is content deleted. This may be an abusive info. Not sure if this is 100% RVBZ because of that. Regardless, I'll contact support for more information, but this is 100% a false claim to my knowledge. Yes, Whispering Pines has some free assets from Roblox's official nature packs that are available for free use in the toolbox. That does not belong to RVVZ, nor do any sounds, images, or anything in Whispering Pines, really. No, we didn't make the majority of the sounds used, but neither did RVVZ. It's not his property. I do not see how this is a proper, fair violation. We'll see how this goes, but hey, I've been telling y'all, I'm only here for a limited time. If it's time, then it's time. Love y'all, I appreciate your continued support. I'll keep you updated. He also posted a notice from Roblox informing him that RVBZ had issued a DMCA takedown on his game. After a little while, he made another update confirming that Whispering Pines was fully locked down. Alan was not the only one unsure of whether RVBZ would really still take down games, but he later posted on Twitter and confirmed it was really RVBZ, also revealing he'd talked to Roblox support, and they'd confirmed that RVBZ took down his game and that it would stay content deleted. He made it clear that he still didn't know what it was he supposedly stole, considering there were no assets of RVBZs used in Whispering Pines. I also talked to him privately, and he revealed that the April Fool's version of Whispering Pines had also been taken down, and that one of RVVZ's associates was in the game when it happened, and said bye bye, confirming that it was 100% RVVZ. One of the head devs for the Rekuf also made an announcement warning that hate should not be sent towards RVVZ as it would likely increase its hostility towards the fan game community. The description of Rake ZRK was also changed, reading, Ever since Whispering Pines was taken down, all Rake-related projects are cancelled from now on. We won't develop on a concept where the game could get taken down in a snap. While this was devastating to the Whispering Pines community, Alan and Zav still had plans for their platform. I asked Alan how he would move forward, and he said, Whispering Pines is most likely not going to make a comeback, at least not any time in the near future. 30 minutes right after the strike hit, we immediately knew what to do next. We are going to be working on a totally new game, rebranding the groups and our overall identity. This new game at the moment will be titled A Gracewind Tale, the g which yes, is a direct inspiration of the Leeds Murder and Do You Copy by Space Octopus Studios. I am a huge fan of these games and the concept, a lot of Whispering Pines sound effects and design choices come from Do You Copy. This game will have absolutely no connection nor correlation with the rig, maybe a few references for sake of memories, but that's it. He also sent me an official teaser for the new game that I'm putting on screen now and it genuinely looks really cool. A post was later made in the Whispering Pines Roblox group confirming that Whispering Pines had been scrapped and that the new game coming out was going to be nothing like the rake. This showed they were still dedicated to the community, but made it clear that it was officially the end for the rake Whispering Pines. Okay guys, I gotta drop the script and get personal for a second, because this game was something I was genuinely really invested in. I think I've made it clear that I'm in support of RVBZ's October 2020 purge, although it could have been handled better, however what happened here this week was nothing sort of straight up greed. Whispering Pine stole nothing from RVBZ other than the rake idea which wasn't even his to begin with. I don't know how many of you guys know, but there was literally a Steam game published in 2014 where you ran from a creature called the rake in a big dark forest. RVBZ literally took this idea and used it in a Roblox game, he didn't think up any of it himself. So him taking down a game purely because he stole the idea from another game first is 
being asinine, and the fact that Roblox supports it is a big indicator on how seriously they take their moderation. I can't in any way even begin to understand how he can justify this, aside from the fact that he wants more money from a game he doesn't care about anymore. The last time he did this, it gutted his community, and the fact that he just did it again shows how little he cares. I wouldn't be surprised if this were the end of Creative Rake fan games, because how can anybody want to work hard on a game knowing the whole time that if it gets too popular, it'll just be taken down? He's reinforced the terrible precedent that he doesn't give a shit, and this is what will ultimately end his game and the amazing community that's formed around it. I wish Alan and Zav the best in whatever game they create, and they should be proud of the legacy they left behind with the Rake Whispering Pines. A wise man once said, you never know the value of a moment until it's a memory. I love hearing the screams of people about to die. fun and I really enjoyed this what like two weeks um, of having a real fan base and like all the support has meant the world to me and not even just the support but like even the hate because I love the hate because it like the fact that people take time out of their day to hate on me it's like at least I meant something to them you know